Hey guys. So I'm gonna go back out to that little lake where I caught them bluegills. Um, I'm thinking it's like a week, week and a half after the fact from the last video I did out there. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be on the beds hard now. And I'm gonna to try to get some fish for the freezer this time. I'm not gonna keep a whole bunch, um, but I am gonna keep enough for a couple meals. Um, yeah, gotta be careful with these little lakes though. I, I, wanna, I wanna stress that because, uh, you know, when I was younger, I'm just gonna give you a little example here. When I was younger, me and a friend of mine uh, found this little lake and we went out and we were catching speckled bass out there, crappie. And we went out there and just took our limit every time. Both of us took our limit. So it was like 50 fish, 50 fish, 50 fish. And we noticed the fourth year when we went back out there, the fish were getting smaller and farther and fewer between. And it literally took that little lake about five years to come back from what we were doing to them spawning fish. Um, we just removed all the bigger fish out of there and it just took a long time for that lake to come back. That same thing can happen with small lakes with bluegills and you know probably any kind of fish. So you got to be careful not to hurt these little lakes. I mean take what you need but you know it, you don't want to you don't want to just keep going back and taking and taking and taking because it will take and these fish you know here in Michigan these fish take a long time to grow so when you're catching nine eight nine inch bluegills and stuff them fish have been in that lake for a long time growing to get that big so you got to be careful that you don't hurt the lake I'm not gonna hurt the lake I'm just gonna go out here maybe 10 or 15 good ones and I'm gonna call it good so, all right, let's go out and get some fish for the freezer.
yeah you can see it's uh if i'm right up there in the bedding area i get bit almost immediately as soon as i get away from them beds there's the, the fish are just so up close to the shore that it's you know i'm not getting nothing so i have to throw it right on top of them right in their bedding area to get them so all right i'm gonna get back to getting me some nice bluegills little out of breath pulling that canoe up the hill is not getting easier <clears throat> um i caught some of the most beautiful panfish that i have caught in quite a long time um i don't think i kept a limit but um i think i got if i had to guess i'd say 13 to 15 something like that I can't wait to show them to you when I get home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my breath going while I drive home. I'll show you guys the fish when I get there.